Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to discuss the full procedure of Java AS exam. Exam kaise hoti hai, kya procedure hoti hai, what is the eligibility criteria, everything I am going to discuss in this video. I am making this video only because many of you have commented me in the comment section. You have been demanding this video regarding AS exam because many of the new joiners have doubts regarding this. They are new to this corporate life and nobody has ever told them about this so i thought i should make a video if it's so much in demand so without any further ado let's get started so what is going to be your training duration most of the times we have observed that whosoever joins in july those people get six months training duration program and they get modules for six months straight with that four mcqs are included in those modules and after four mcqs there will be one asa exam but most of the people who join in october so according to business requirements i don't know why but they just shred off their training duration and make it to two months and for that they will have to appear for two mcq test and one as exam so all this criteria happens with the business requirements only it changes based on your onboarding time so mcq pattern for the people who get six months training will be like there will be 20 questions and one question will carry one mark so 20 marks paper will appear for you and for the people who have two months training their question paper will carry 40 marks so these are the little differences they make if you are varying from module to module also asa exam is common for both of them so what happens in the asa exam is that uh, asa exam will also be carrying 20 marks 10 marks for mcqs and 10 marks for your viva so your viva will be taken by any of the accenture employee the previous employee or your trainer maybe whosoever carry the expertise in java he or she is going to take your interview kind of viva they will be asking you all the questions related to your six months training program or two months training program whatever module you carry respectively so 10 marks for mcq and in mcq i have observed that there will be some sort of scenario based questions and you have to code according to that so your that assessment will be different and after that you gonna get another 10 marks for your performance in front of the instructors or viva organizers so you just have to appear for viva after your mcq test it totally depends on your question set that, that how many coding questions you get because most of the times some people get nothing and some people get all 10 questions on coding only pseudo code based questions will also there you just need to prepare for whole syllabus because asa exam is going to be on proper six months module you have studied before so in viva they are literally going to ask everything you have learned from day one because that's what they are examining you for and you need to answer all of them you should impress the instructors on one go because if if you are getting good marks there definitely they are going to create a different kind of impression in that field of yours and you are going to get any kind of development project in java mostly this year i have observed that java people are also getting roles in support because for the people who are being in six months training after two months or one month of training only they are getting project calls and that's the training duration only you so you can't just tell new employees to run a code or debug it or develop something because it's nearly impossible most of the new concepts are being introduced in java and it's really near to impossible for new joiners to experience that environment and develop something on their own marking scheme i already told that for mcqs those will be having six months module they will have 20 questions for 20 marks and the people who are for two months training program they will be having 40 questions for 40 marks and marking scheme for as will be 10 questions carrying 10 marks that is mcq based all on you and 10 marks will be in the hands of instructor who will be taking your viva 
so you have to score good marks there too what if you fail all that like you have completed your 6 months training program you have given all your exams but couldn't able to achieve 60% average criteria which is required to pass in your training program so what next so there is nothing to worry you will gonna get two chances after getting failed in that exam also and those chances are called retest so you will be getting two retest that is retest 1 and retest 2 in retests also you will you will have to score 60% average because it's the minimum criteria required to pass the exam so you should score there also talking about retest it's not that simple it happens in one go only like from primers to your steam training whatever you have learned from primers to the last day of your steam training everything will be there in that paper so my advice for new joiners is you should maintain your good average criteria in your previous mcqs only you have four mcqs in your hand you have to cover all those in 6 months long journey it's a great time guys you should only focus on getting passing marks at least try to score 12 in each of your tests so that you reduce the chances of appearing for the retest because retest will be carrying whole syllabus whatever syllabus has been covered from last 7 months one month for primer and six months for your training program everything will be there if you are not able to score good mark in retests also then what then then you know that accenture carries one year probation period so they are going to terminate you guys there are no more chances because uh, it's already six months long program if you are not scoring good marks there too you are going to get two chances in the name of retest and if you are failing to score there also then there is no option left to them they are going to terminate you so it's my advice for new joiners just maintain your good average percentage in your 6 months journey only and if you belong to the 2 months training module then you have to appear for 2 mcq test only so time is less you have to study more because your training will go on continuously so there is a thing that you can focus more on the training and for 6 months people there will be disadvantage because they get tagged into the project after one month of joining only for four days they work for project and on the fifth day they attend their training so it's like breaking their connectivity with the subject but for two month people they are regularly on their training module so you have that grip on your module just take the advantage of time and don't miss any of the lectures you have to study hard to not to appear for the retest because nobody want to fail in any of the exam so that's all for today's video guys if you like it then please share with others whosoever needs that and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe thank you for watching also also i would like to add that if you want any of the module based questions like how asa scenario based questions come what kind of questions they ask then please do comment in the comment section if there is lot more demand about that i'm going to make next video on that only thank you for watching bye bye